Hey guys, I'm back with another part that needs machining done. Or I should say a bunch of them. That's the first step right there. First part, so into the vices. Just step jaws, plain stuff, and uh, clamp it and do the offsetting. Step one is simple, just drill two holes and tap, that's about it. Step two is gonna be a little more exciting. So yeah, watch till the end. The drill is a 0.875 kind of metal insert drill and for the tap I'm using a 1 inch 8 spiral point. This time I'm not using an actual tap holder because I didn't have one available at the time. So I'm just using a plain TG holder with a specific tap collet that goes in there. And here comes the first hole. Um, I'm doing this start, pause, start, pause thing just to make sure my Zs are correct. It's always a thing of rather safe than sorry. I do machining, which I think most of you guys know what I'm talking about. And here comes my tap, same thing, start, pause, start, pause, make sure everything works good, all the Zs look good, and in it goes. All right, step one is done. Okay, that's step one done. So for step two, I need to, as you see from the side, if you would stand up the part, that's how the part would exactly look. So I need to make sure whatever I'm taking off with a pen right there, this is actually in reverse. And that's how the part needs to look from this side once it's done, right there. Cut that edge off. Cut that edge off and cut that edge off. I'm going to be doing that in one step. Check it out. That's the fixture right there. Slide all the T nuts into there. Line them up with the holes. Next, take the part, cut it right in, line up the holes with the bolts, just using short one inch bolts to tighten it down and get step one going again because I'm going to be doing both steps in one shot right now. Tighten it up real good. Okay, offsetting time again. Hit the X. Hit the Z. And finally, the Y. Okay, it's doing step one again. At a much faster rate this time.
Okay, now for step two, I'm just using a three quarter inch can of metal for flute and metal. Actually, I'm using coolant on this job, but just for the video, I took it out. Okay, my part is done. Get the bolts loose. And I have a good part. Check the thread, make sure it's all good. After doing a full inspection, I was quite surprised how this part turned out. It was really good.